Uh, my name is Sydney Maholsky. My major is math. Um, I did WVU Teach because when I came to do my scheduling, they came and talked to me about it. I thought it sounded like a really cool opportunity and I wanted to teach when I was younger and it kind of re-sparked that interest in me and it turned out to be really awesome and I've stuck with it ever since. I'd say it's, it's a program that if you're you know, in a STEM major, you can take it. It's one class per semester if you start at the very beginning of like your undergrad career. And then you have to double up maybe if you start a little bit later. But it's a pretty low commitment, like easy way to get your certificate. So once you graduate, depending on what field that you're in, you'll get a certificate to teach that field to high school students. Um, for math specifically, I'll get a certificate for high school and middle school. So that's pretty cool. And that certificate transfers to a lot of other states, so it's not just West Virginia, it goes to a lot of other places. You just might have to retake the, um, the test that would get you certified there. So in the beginning, you start with step one and step two, and when you're in those, then you, um, you go into the classroom in the elementary school for step one and in the middle school for step two. And you, like, when you're in the class, um, you're teaching students just a simple like, science or math lesson. And then when you go back to like, your actual college class about what you taught, out in the field, then you talk about like lesson planning, there's a 5E lesson structure, which is like a really cool easy way to get started into lesson planning, it's like not too intimidating, really easy to like grasp onto. And then when you get, um, after step one and step two, you decide if you want to continue in the program, and then you go into a course that's about the theory behind teaching and learning, and that one is really cool, it sets you up with a lot of knowledge about how students actually learn, and then you move into 222, which is more like the actual concrete like how to apply all these things that you've been learning about the rest of the time. And the rest of it I still have to take, but I think you just go farther into lesson planning and like actual specifics of teaching. So it's any STEM majors can do it. Um, I'm in math, so I'm, I'm able to do it. But anything STEM, so anything in the, any of the sciences, biology, chemistry, um, computer science and technologies, engineering, it's any of the STEM majors can do it. I'd say start early if you can, like if you're even a little bit interested in it. Step one and two are only one credit classes, super low commitment, and you can just test out, go in the class and see if you actually like it. So I would say even if you're questioning it, just give it a try, and then if you don't like it, like no harm, no foul. Um, mine's really given me a lot of career options. I ended up not really wanting to go into grad school for math like I thought I would when I started the math undergrad, so I'm actually going to go right into teaching. So. It's given me like an actual viable career path after after school. And then eventually I think I'm gonna teach and go to grad school at the same time. So it's just, the best part about it for me has been like opening up my options.